I was fortunate in receiving a, a copy of the book from Jennifer about three days ago. And as uh, Mr. Coons states, it's a big book, and I have not read all of it. He says the way he takes care of books, he puts it under his pillow and sleeps on it. Evelyn <laughs> <laughs> Wood could not have read this. <laughs> but uh, it's a fascinating story. I might point out, is it all right if I sit down? I'm Please, getting pretty old. I might point out that I was pretty low on the totem pole in this. I was with the second division at Fort Lewis, Washington, that's the Seattle Tacoma area, when the uh, Korean War started and the uh, general information about the disposition of the second division at that time was, well, they're too much under strength, they're not trained enough, there's no chance that they will be involved in, in the war. But it was not very many more days then we were on ships and headed towards Korea. And as far as me being able to comment on the validity of the different steps that were taken, like I say, I'm pretty far down on the totem pole. I was a second lieutenant. I went over to Korea as an ammunition train commander in a service battery in the 37th Field Artillery. and. Uh, while over there, I was transferred to the headquarters to be in the fire direction center controlling the artillery fire. And then uh, af after that, I became an executive officer in a fuel artillery battery, battery B of the 37th fuel artillery. So I don't know what you expect from me. There I am, pretty more down on the bottom. And uh, the person that's on the bottom, all he can do is look up and hope that the things that fall on him will not hurt. That's about all I can say. <laughs> <laughs>